Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another He-Man Origins video, and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at Mattel. This is an early sneak preview at an upcoming Mattel Creations exclusive, Lady Slither, the evil queen empress of the Snake Men, as it says right there on the box, and in case you missed it, yes, she will be a Mattel Creations exclusive. Gorgeous artwork all over the box. Quite an imposing presence, I will say. And I love that on the backside, it gives you the entire story of Lady Slither. I totally appreciate that. But this is also a slipcase cover, and it has that usual deluxe He-Man Origins packaging. Nice window box. Gorgeous artwork atop right there. Always nice to see all the different Snake Men, all the different comic book iterations of certain snake men perhaps we'll see them at a later date we also have fangor that was just released and lady slither herself which is a figure and you get some accessories and my favorite part right here which differentiates the figure greatly is you got a little snake part you can swap out she's the evil slithering viper again from the snake man and the packaging is just always cool i'd love to see figures of all these crazy characters on the back, right? That would be so cool. Especially this guy that you can't tell me that that's not Jafar right there. And then the red snake guy would be Genie Jafar. <laughs> and a lot of you out there are probably going, why did Mattel send this to this guy? Come on. Now, here's the barcode. You're not going to need that again. It's a Mattel Creations exclusive. And if you're wondering when she goes live, she will hit the Mattel Creations website on September 12th in around 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. East, and will retail for 35 bucks. So, set your clock, sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early look at the brand new Mattel Creations Lady Slither from the He-Man Origins line. Now, before we jump into things, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, you know the deal by now, right? Now, you do get a brand new comic book for Lady Slither entitled Sword of the Serpent. And she kills King Hiss, apparently. I know that he's like a snake, right? Or he's like a thousand snakes inside a body, but he, he looks dead, right? I was like... Okay, that's pretty cool, right? But I think he escaped. I think he'll be just fine. Anyways, it's kind of crazy. It looks like He-Man teams up with Jesus. <laughs> At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't know. The comic books have gotten equally crazy. If you've seen my last video. Anyways, Sword of the Serpent. Very cool Lady Slither right there, right? So now you got the figure, and she comes with her Sword of the Serpent. It's because of the comic book I knew about that. Now, one thing I will say, because it's the Mattel creations and because I like what they did with Fangor, right? I like that if they put a little bit more detail on these exclusive figures, including the weapons, right? It would have brought it out just a little bit more, especially on her snake serpent staff, right? Say that all in one go. But it would just add a little bit of the oomph, right, to these characters. Now, this is my favorite, we'll say, part accessory because it changes the dynamic of just the usual he-man origins figures and it's segmented and it rotates and it twists and you get a lot of different poses out of it while still being very sturdy you gotta have to figure it out but it's painted nicely it looks great and overall it's just a nice addition right it's very cool to have something different in the line and you could pop this part off which is like an adapter essentially so if you have any other snake men you can totally make your own snake concoctions or if you just want to use the legs you can go that route as well but in this case we'll just attach this part right here and use it for lady slither which by the way is a nice looking figure. I would say she reuses some of the stuff we've seen from Tila. She has a brand new head sculpt, new hair, nice cape. I like that they did that. And she's just a green and brown character with some gold accents. But it achieves the look put forth by the comic for Lady Slither. There's nothing new in terms of the articulation outside of the actual snake body, which you just totally take her apart, get rid of the legs, and she becomes Lady Slither in every true sense of the term. Now again, this is just a different silhouette. It's a different figure for your He-Man Origins. It makes her stand out 
And I totally appreciate that because a lot of times it's same old, same old, same old. But now you got a snake chick, right? So <laughs> I totally appreciate that. And she holds her weapons nicely. Again, paint aside, she has decent paint, looks good. She's a nice looking figure overall. And if you were wondering how she kind of squares up with other figures thus released, you have the snake armor, Skeletor, you have Tongue Lasher. She's going to look good with your snake men. And if you were looking to possibly put her with, say, Masterverse, no, she will be entirely too short. But, hey, stay tuned uh, for a look at the new Adventures of He-Man figures coming shortly. So that will wrap it up for my quick look at the brand new Battelle Mattel Creations He-Man Origins exclusive Lady Slither. And again, just to reiterate, if you'd like to go ahead and pre-order Lady Slither, she will go up on the Mattel Creations website September 12th, 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. East, in around that time. Again, she's going to retail for the $35 price point, so just be ready. She's more of a deluxe. Is there a whole heck of a lot of deluxe? Yeah, kind of, sort of. But I will say, overall, she's a pretty solid figure from the paint to the little tail attachments. She is a lot of fun. But as always, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Lady Slither. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep on bringing the snake, man. It's a lot of fun. When they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Now, wait, wait just a minute. I have the names for the snakes on the box. Vipor, Reptilax, and Stretchneck. Those are the three snake gents right here, along with Lady Slither and Fangor. And then on this image, which is, again, all kinds of Aladdin, to me at least, <laughs> we have the High Priest Pythonus, and then Red Snake Man. He doesn't have a name. He's just, he's just Red Snake Man. So I propose a name for this cool red snake guy right here. Cobras. Sounds like Cerberus, but he's a cobra, right? Get it? Hey, that's how He-Man stuff works. Don't look at me. Anyways, thanks for watching.